everybody. Gabby again. So today, I would like to introduce you to some people. Mara Juno, Lisa Biggs, Melissa Disney, Tasia Valenza, E.G. Daly, Tara Strong, Randy Thomas. So why am I showing you pictures of all of these lovely ladies? Well, because I'm jealous. Because I am jealous of each and every one of them. In a lot of industries and performing, I think, in general, um, we're sometimes told to not worry about what other performers are doing and what they have or what they don't have or what they're booking. And we're told that we're not supposed to covet, right? Big no-no. Bull crap. Covet. Covet the shit out of your fellow voice actors. You know why? Because that is how we grow. That's how we learn. That is, for many of us, a motivator, okay? I look at those women and tons of others in the voiceover industry. Those guys are just like the tip of the iceberg on my list of people whose lives I want, okay? It has nothing to do with jealousy. It's my own self-motivation. I look at their careers, I look at their skills, I look at the jobs that they book, and it motivates me to do better, to do more. I study them. I study them extensively. Um, Lisa Biggs is probably watching this right now going, what do you mean, Gabby? What do you mean you study me? What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way or a creepy way. It's just how I am able to, as an actress, grow and understand what works and what doesn't. If you're out there thinking that you're already the best and you don't need to be jealous of another voice actor and that you don't need to um, covet their workload, you're wrong. You're very, very wrong. Um, so wrong, in fact, that if you already think you're the best, I can guarantee you, you're not. Not by a long shot. And recognizing that and understanding that there's always somebody better. There's always someone who's doing something in some arena of voiceover that is kicking ass way more so than you are. Watch them. Figure it out. Look at what they do. Take a look at um, the steps that they take to market themselves, how they get the word out about their voice. And if you can, if you ever get the opportunity, listen to their auditions. See what they're doing in performance settings. Most definitely study their demos, study their um, actual performances that you can hear, that you can watch, and learn from it. Learn where you stand to grow. Learn where you stand to improve. Thou shall covet other voice actors. It's a good idea. Can really help your career.